Hello, here we are with Sarah Cannon. This is the Bridge Gallery because it bridges the East, East City Hall with the other, with the newer City Hall. And so this is a great big bridge, it's a corridor. And so the Green Heart is really a perfect bridge, right? It's, it's very educational. It's art and educational. I guess it's, uh, we really like to, to let communities shine and they shine through their artwork. A special thank you, for, of course, goes to all the teachers and students that took this project to a flight we could never have imagined. My name is Ellen Pace with Ellen Los Angeles Pace. Education Partnership. LAEP had the opportunity to participate in the Green Heart Project. This is a way to really get deeper in your soul and to do it as a community and to do it um, w with respect to students and for, for people who don't often get to really express themselves. Well, I think one of the things that um, the Heart Project does is for so long we create distance and walls between people and what LAEP is very focused on is about building relationships and you can't have an honest relationship with people unless you really do open your heart and so this is a way for people to be able to do that and to be able to lift up conversations that are meaningful and not superficial and that's really how you build relationships. Being in City Hall is a really interesting place because it's such a place of power and rule making but um, this is really a statement about what people want and what they believe and to be able to have this intersection between the kind of governance of community and the heart of community is a really powerful opportunity. with Mark Cole of Red Hen Press. So how did uh, Red Hen Press find out about the Green Heart? Well, actually we've known Petra for quite some time. She actually published a number of books in a series that we uh, were the publisher of. One of the books is called Heart. And so this particular series of books served as the inspiration for the project. Has it been fun working, uh, watching the evolution of the Green Heart? It's, it's been amazing. It has really been amazing. Um, you know, her call for um, and people to write on what they're doing and her work with the kids has really been impressive. Um, Red Hen Press, we do literacy workshops. We do outreach programs where we have writers going to schools and work with kids. And we've been doing that for quite some time and she, in, in a much shorter period of time, has contacted and been touched far more students than we have. So it's amazing. Well, it's all working as a team. Right? Yes, it is, absolutely. Yeah, she's great. Hi. Hello. Hello. And you are? My name is Jane Patterson. Jane Patterson. Yes, and I'm with Los Angeles Education Partnership. I am the director of all of our in-school work. The LAEP, aren't you proud that you, that you working together with Petra really inspired the entire city hall to come from their heart? I think so. I think that, that I think that's uh, pretty thrilling. This is actually a very important question to ask our our elected officials, right? Very important for them to actually hear what's happening. Petra came one day. She's like, you know, we need to make sure we have a space where the world really is listening, and where's the best place to do it at City Hall, where there's so many business people walking through, so many elected officials, and there's you know people really listening to what the students have to say. One of the most exciting things is that. The way that Petra manages the project is that she really builds the students' capacity to run it on their own. So they see themselves reflected in this and reflected in this question. They feel empowered to ask their, their peers this question. And I think that that kind of empowerment and capacity building that she's done has, it has a life of its own now. she does, she's teaching them an organization and how to run a project. 
So there's leadership that gets used. It's how are you going to manage the entire installation? How are you going to communicate? How are you going to capture all those ideas, catalog them, etc.? So what a wonderful learning experience as well. project? The answer is that I believe in peace. I believe in people, even if we have setbacks. I believe that we need this project and I believe that no matter how small and where they come from can make a difference in the world to the better. With a little effort, we can make a difference. I took a simple idea, my artwork, some pieces of paper and some markers, recruited some friends and said, we can make a difference in the world. And even if it is a small one, and I will try it, and I will show that an average person like me can do something to further peace. And look how far we got. The Green Heart Project had by now nine successful installations throughout California. Thousands of people shared their dreams, ideas, and challenges with us. The Green Heart Student Project, we made it into City Hall, and we made the world listening to these students who followed our dream. Uh -huh.